Hey guys, Curtis here at Go AZ. Welcome to Moke America. We're gonna talk a little bit about your Moke, things it does, its quirks, its features, how to keep it charged, right this way. So first step you wanna do guys, on your Moke on the driver's side, you're gonna have a red plunger. So when you are running your Moke, let's make sure that red plunger is pulled out, put the key into the on position, that will bring up the illuminated dash. Starting with some of the controls here, we've got our hazard lights. Once this button is depressed, this is actually not a fog light switch, but it is your limiter. So it takes that moke from 25 down to 20 miles an hour. On this side, we do have the headlight switch. Also, this button, for some reason, if your dash isn't illuminated, let's make sure we're checking this button right here. As you can see, that does eliminate that backlit display. Here, we have our MP3 dash setup. As you can see, you have a charging port for your phone. You also have a port here to run an aux cord or USB slot. It does have Bluetooth. You can answer phone calls, take phone calls. It's got AM, FM. It is a full stereo. And as you can see, we do have four speakers here in the cabin. Now, simple controls here forward for drive, in for neutral, and then obviously R for reverse. As you can see, once we're in reverse, it does bring up the backup camera. On the Moog actual steering wheel, you've got your horn, turn signals, as well as windshield wipers. If you wanna look down here, this little green button actually activates the Ferrari noise. So as you can see, we just went over the interior of the Moke. Now, let's take a look what's under that hood. You've got two latches on each side. Once you unlatch those, you do have a hood prop that pokes in right there. Looking under the hood, we have washer fluid. You even have this cute little audio speaker for the Ferrari sound. The batteries, of course. You've got brake fluid, fuse box, for some reason, Things aren't working out. Let's check under that fuse box. And we have our actual charger. Now, you're asking yourself, we've got the charger, it's an electric vehicle. I'm gonna show you how to charge it. Back here in our cargo storage area, we have toolkit, charging port, and car cover as well. Let me show you what that charging port looks like. This is our actual Moak charger. Now, if you wanna follow me on this side, I'll actually show you how we're going to connect this charger make sure you've got plenty of time to ride. This is actually our charging piece for our Moke. As you can see under here, you're gonna pull this flap, it's gonna charge and connect in. Now that we've shown you how to plug in the Moke, let's explain a little bit about how to properly charge your Moke. We wanna make sure the plunger is all the way out when charging. Only when charging, let's make sure that plunger is all the way out or when we're driving. If we're not gonna be driving, we're not gonna be charging, Let's make sure that plunger's all the way in, kills that battery system. To ensure you get that full 40 mile range, let's make sure we're charging six to eight hours every night. Guys, another thing I wanna mention, let's talk about these Moke keys. You're gonna get two keys with your Moke. You're also going to get this little guy. This actually goes over your owner's manual and warranty information. This Moke America comes in 12 unique colors. Endless options of customization, endless styles from wheels to interiors to roof racks to changing the bumper color as well as the grill color. Thank you all for watching this video. Let us know how we can customize yours today.